When you're talking about high refresh rate gaming monitors, what counts as high? 144 hertz? 240 hertz? Well, be prepared to rewrite your personal dictionary because I am standing in the ASUS suite where they're showing off an ROG Swift 360. And no, I'm not talking about that April Fool's joke that they made last year. This time, the 360 means a refresh rate of a staggering 360 hertz. How do they build this? What's it like to use it? We're gonna find out right after this message from our sponsor, Pulseway. Don't have scores of employees to send to work for you? Pulseway lets you remotely monitor, manage, and control your Windows, Mac, and Linux machines all from one app. Create your free account today and see what Pulseway can do for you and your business at the link below. I know what you're thinking, 360 hertz is probably way overkill for most people. I mean, everyone knows that upgrading from 60 hertz to 144 hertz is a much more meaningful jump than the more incremental jumps from say 165 to 240. That's true, and the trend of diminishing returns does continue when you jump from 240 to 360, but that does not mean that players won't gain an advantage that matters. I mean, this thing feels ungodly smooth, as you can imagine. And using this new Blurbuster side-by-side -side test, you can see that the nameplates on these Dota characters are markedly clearer than even on a 240 hertz monitor. According to a paper published by NVIDIA, who worked with Asus on this fully G-Sync monitor, high-ranked competitive players playing at 360 hertz increased their flick shot accuracy by an average of 4%, above their own performance playing at 240 hertz. Now, 4% may not be worth it to you and your average gamer's wallet, but for esports pros, that could be the one kill that wins the game, the tournament, and the prize money. But why are we seeing this monitor now in 2020? Was there some kind of technological breakthrough that's pushing displays forward in a Moore's Law kind of way? Well, surprisingly not. Yeah, it does use a new 1080p panel from AU Optronics, but the real trick is increasing the rate that the new frames are being drawn, the refresh rate, without screwing up every other link in the display chain. It's like, if I woke up tomorrow and my legs were six inches longer, yeah, I'd be taller, but my torso would look short and I would like walk funny, and I might not even be able to reach my own feet. Is that the kind of height I want? It's kind of the same thing here. Increasing the refresh rate affects the display's backlight timing because if it can't keep up, then you're gonna get ghosting. That's artifacts from previous frames still visible on the current frame. It affects pixel response times because if you want the pixels to change values very quickly, you need to supply the liquid crystal membrane with the perfect amount of voltage so that it can twist and untwist with a high degree of accuracy so that you still get proper colors. And it affects uniformity across the display because imperfections are way more noticeable in such a low motion blur environment. The fact that all these variables are interconnected is one of the reasons ASUS worked closely with both the panel manufacturer, AU Optronics, and NVIDIA with this product. You see, many people think that G-Sync means variable refresh rate, but it's actually a lot more than that. It's a processor that controls many elements in the display chain, from the T-Con to the scaler, even the on-screen display. The more of these elements that are controlled by a single company, the easier it is to make a high-performance product. It's why iPhone displays feel smoother than many Android phone displays, even though they're perhaps both AMOLED, made by Samsung, and maybe they're both 60 hertz. All the ingredients need to work together perfectly for the recipe to work. So even if other companies use this panel sometime in the future after ASUS's exclusivity deal expires like six months or whatever after this monitor launches in the first half of this year, those other displays likely will still use full-on G-Sync. But how much is it gonna cost? That's an interesting question. Uh, part of the reason that the ROG Swift 360, which may not be its final name by the way, exists at all is because of binning, meaning AU Optronics makes a batch of panels, but just by virtue of manufacturing, they don't all have the same performance. With a product like this, only the top, top, top panels from this batch will be suitable to become a Swift 360. This relates to the price because it's still unknown how many panels will be good enough to make the grade. ASUS also needs to decide if the 360's launch will push prices of their own other monitors down or if the price of those monitors will stay the same and this monitor will create a whole new price category all its own, iPhone 10 style. What I can say is that the RG Swift 360 should be in the 550 to 650-ish US dollar price range, and even if you're not hardcore enough to buy one of these, this new competitor should make other high refresh rate monitors cheaper than ever. Speaking of good deals, let me tell you about our sponsor. 
Whoa, where am I? <laughs> you know what? Who cares? Because I'm using Pulseway, the real-time remote monitoring and management software that helps you fix problems on the go by sending commands from any mobile device. You can't control your employees, but hey, any mobile device. You can install and update all your systems on the go from a single app, and you can even deploy custom scripts to automate your IT tasks so you can spend less time working or more time uh, working in someone else's office. God, I, it, bottom line, go to the link below and save 20% today by going to, what's the link? We don't have It's just down there. It's just down there, dude. Yeah, 20% off the Teams plan. So thanks for watching guys. This video is the first of our CES content that we're gonna be hitting you with all week. So come back, check out all the new stuff you've never seen before and make sure to hit up lttstore.com where you can get awesome shirts, not like the one I'm wearing. Although maybe if you yell at Linus loud enough, you can eventually buy this thing. lttstore.com.